And that um, it would fit in the box. Are these lead screws that are already These are uh, lead screws from uh, a company called Roton. Okay. They supply all kinds of lead screws. It's nice because it's off the shelf and you just tell them what dimension you want and it's all packaged and all you don't have to do it. This is the controller that I, I put together. It's all inside there. There's a breakup board that keeps the, the, uh, the signal from the computer. Sent each signal out to a separate, a se ste separate stepper board, which uh, basically amps up the, the signals to uh, something that, that can uh, drive the stepper motors. There's four of them in there for independent operation. And then there's a section uh, in here. There's a power supply that runs the power the stepper motors. And then there's another transformer that runs the hot wire cutter, and it's got its own um, uh, temperature controller uh, variable, variable temperature controller there. Is that closed loop? Are you monitoring the I'm not current? Monitoring okay. It, so I've just I've determined what works for it. Mm -hmm. But uh, where's the circular interpolation taking place? Is it the software here, or is it? Is it stepping, or is it actually driving both motors at the same time? It's driving both motors at the same time. It's all, all working around. And that thing about the center is, you don't have to figure out the speed per second. Look, it is. I would say, you know, actually, how fast it goes, it will compensate in the next y direction. So the thickness of the curve is a function of the temperature on that side. Like no. In a tapered cut, it would do that. It's actually maintaining five inches per minute uh, cut along this.